Welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna explain how we could model variable material properties in a part. As an example, we are gonna model a functionally graded material with variable elastic properties along its thickness. We start with creating a two-dimensional part with the name FGM. The part is 2D planar and deformable and we use shell to create it and then we create a rectangle from 0, 0 to 0 0.1 and 0 0.02 this is our part and then we create material for this part the material is functionally graded and elastic properties of material are functions of y coordinates so we should add a field variable to the material definition and input elastic properties based on the field one in this problem field one represents y coordinates for y equals to zero we enter the properties of middle and for y equals to 0 0.02 we enter the properties of the ceramic please notice that by entering material properties in only two y coordinates we assume that the variation of the properties is linear if the variation was nonlinear we should enter more than two points we also should choose user defined field using usd fld subroutine to define field variable after that we create a section and assign the section to the part we enter the part independently in the assembly module and then in the step module we create a static general step with initial increment size of 0.1 we also request field variable output in the field outputs by selecting FV we can plot field variable in the visualization module then we go to the load module we want to apply pure tension in the part first of all we fix one point of the part to prevent rigid body motion so we fix this point in all directions and then we apply symmetric power recognition to the left border of the part and prevent this border from moving in the x direction and finally we apply movement to the right border of the part we enter the displacement value in the first direction in the mesh module at first we choose quadrilateral and structured mesh and then we assign element type which is standard plane stress and linear elements after that we choose a fine global size for the part because the properties are variable along its thickness and finally mesh the part and go to the job module and create a job and in the job definition we should introduce the address of the USDFLD subroutine and then we can submit the job while the job is completing I can explain about the subroutine. The USDFLD subroutine, which is used here, is really a simple subroutine. This part is the interface of the subroutine, and you can find it in the help of the software. And we define the field one, which is equal to the y coordinate, only by one line. The job is completed and we can go to the visualization module and see the results. As we expected, we can see linear stress distribution from the bottom to the top faces of the part. As the strain is constant in the part, the stress distribution is the same as the Young modulus distribution. We also could plot contours of field variable by choosing fv the fv1 is equal to y coordinates and is between 0 and 0 0.02 thank you guys for watching this video if you are interested in more videos about subroutines in abacus please find them in our channel
If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.